If you started crypto mining at all in 2024, the odds are that you have a few of these little Ice River miners. I personally have four of them. I have two AL zeros and two KS zero ultras. And unfortunately, none of them are really profitable right now. We're gonna dig into the numbers, but all of them are losing at least a couple cents. And I think it's time to make some changes. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to start mining Bitcoin on these devices. At this point, I've accumulated enough Caspa and enough Elephium, and especially with the price movements of these coins being pretty terrible in comparison to Bitcoin within the last few months, I'm gonna transition my miners to start mining Bitcoin itself. And at that point, I'm okay if they lose five to 10 cents a day, especially during the winter because they're heating my house in different locations. So let's get into how to mine Bitcoin on your Ice River miners. Today's video is brought to you by Crypto Miner Bros. 2025 is going to be an electric year for crypto mining. Right now might be the last time to get a good deal on ASIC miners before the prices start to rise. Crypto Miner Bros has all the most profitable ASICs from the most popular brands, including Jazz Miner, Ice River, Bitmain. The price you see is the final price you pay. No hidden fees or customs, which is super nice. Use code modern to get $70 off every item in your cart regardless of price. I'll leave links down below to my favorite miners and with that let's get back into it. All right so quickly let's take a look at the profitability of these miners. If you look at the AL0 the results are actually not as bad as I expected. You're only losing two cents per day at 11 cent kilowatt hour which is actually pretty good considering a lot of people just purchased the AL3s and they're actually losing more money than the AL0s are and they were like five times the cost so actually in that regard these miners are still doing pretty good and that's because when we bought them the efficiency was kind of the selling point of them they are very efficient miners which is good but the ks0 ultra i bet is a little bit of a grimmer picture still only losing four cents per miner though so that would mean that all four of mine combined are really only losing like 12 cents a day and especially during winter where i can position them all throughout my house as you saw in the intro that's still very worth it for me because I get that heat. But what I do wanna change is I'm kind of tired of accumulating Alephium and just watching it just absolutely dump in price. If we take a look at Alephium's price on CoinGecko, the results are uh, not, not good. So we look at the last three, let's look at the last month here. Basically dropped almost 50% in the last month from 1.37 dollars and we're at a monthly low of 74 cents right now and this isn't specific to lithium basically all proof of work coins have been dropping in comparison to bitcoin this is either because of the trump coin coming out which basically sucked up liquidity from all of the crypto market and then just decided to tank itself i don't really know what to do for people who uh, try to invest in coins like that and just get burned on it it they get hurt and it also hurts the crypto market it's just really a lose-lose unless you're the person who's making the big bucks at the top um, but also there's all this tariff news that's coming out so just in general the altcoin market has not been that great so that's why i want to switch my miners over to mining bitcoin so i can just set them and forget them now one way to do this is unminable and i actually had all four of these miners pointed to unminable for the last week or so because i was trying to get my payout which the threshold is 00075, so I have eclipsed that now. Um, but when I went to check this today, it says I only have two workers online. So actually my Caspa miners, for whatever reason, couldn't connect to the unminable pool and they're mining to my K1 pool account. So not the end of the world, but I did think it would be interesting to kind of see if we take a look at my past 24 hour earnings so this would be on just my two AL zeros that were getting Bitcoin from unminable, this value right here. How much Bitcoin did they actually generate? And if we put that in the CoinGecko calculator, we can see that those two miners combined generated 41 cents and those miners use 100 watts each. So I did some math here on how much power they used and um, we can see that those miners burned 52 cents. So basically I lost 11 cents yesterday running my AL zeros, so not terrible. And the good news is if you watched my video on Cryptex versus Unminable versus NiceHash, and if you haven't, I'll put a link up here, that Cryptex is actually 8% better than Unminable in terms of the raw amount of Bitcoin that you get for your hash rate. You can see in this chart down here, that Aminable was about 8% worse than Cryptex and NiceHash was almost 30% worse than Cryptex. So if you're not 
using Cryptex or using one of these other platforms, Cryptex is probably the better one. This is not a sponsored video, though I will have my affiliate link to sign up down below and in the pinned comment. So I kind of spilled the beans on, we're gonna be switching these off of Unminable and onto Cryptex because it, based on my testing, it is more profitable. And how this works is Cryptex is kind of mine anything get Bitcoin. So all this really is, is you're setting your payout wallet as your actual Cryptex email account. So in my case, I would be setting it to modernmininghub at gmail.com. So we will quickly set that up. First, I'm gonna go ahead and request a payout. So boom, I got my unminable payout. Now let's go ahead and switch these bad boys over to Cryptex. So we need to go into minor settings. This device here is my Caspa miners. So you can see this is where I had unminable set up. Let's figure out how to do this on Cryptex. So we need to go to actual pool.cryptex.com and we are looking for their Casper pool, which is right here. And if we go to start mining, then we can see their different servers right here. So we wanna use the USA one. So we will go ahead and copy that. And then we will go back to our miner here and we'll replace all of this stuff right here. K heavy hash unmindable.com the port we're going to delete that and replace it with the cryptex information right there and then i'm going to go ahead and copy that and put it in basically the top two because if those top two don't work then it will default to the k1 pool where i'm just getting caspa to my normal wallet um, so that's good there but now for the worker this is where we need to make that change that we talked about right here so our worker is going to be our email address and then a backslash with the rig name. So right here, we wanna delete all of this and it's gonna be modernmininghub at gmail.com slash this is, is this my case here ultra one or two? This is the ultra one. So I just name it like that. And then we'll paste that same thing down here. And then that should be good to go. Let's go ahead and save this and we'll reboot this device. And then before we change the others, we'll just make sure that this worked and then we'll move on to the Alephium ones and the other Caspa ones. The Alephium one will be slightly different, but essentially the same. All right, so that is a good sign. If we go to Cryptex and this is the cryptex.com main site, you, can, you have your dashboard here, which shows how much Bitcoin you have. And then you also have your hardware site which has already updated to show that we have one pool worker and this is our ultra one and we can it eventually will show our profitability estimates per day and per month um, but that is good so that means that worked just fine so let's go ahead and i'll switch that on the other caspa miner and then we'll look at how to do it on the alephia miners okay so we got my alephia miner pulled up here you can see this one was mining to unminable no issue it got forty thousand accepted shares over the last seven days and same with the other one right here so this one actually got uh, 141,000 shares so much been a little bit of a difficulty difference there um, but it does look like they have the same difficulty. So that's interesting. We'll have to monitor that and make sure I'm getting the payments that I'm expecting. But based on that, we saw we only lost 11 cents yesterday. That seems to be accurate. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to this number, but let's go back to the Cryptex pool here. And we need to get the Alephium setup information. So if we go here, grab the USA value here. It's gonna be a very similar situation to last time. So we'll go into minor settings and replace this right here. And then we'll also replace this right here. And I can probably grab this from our Caspa stuff and put that in here. And then this is going to be uh, ALF1. All right, uh, we'll save that, restart this one, and then I think we're safe to go ahead and do these changes on the second ALF one since we know it already worked on the Casper one. So the only difference here is we'll be naming these ALF two, and then we need to grab the Cryptex pool information. Okay, so just like that, we got all four miners updated, and those will now be mining two Cryptex, which is gonna be paying us out in Bitcoin. So super nice there. Let's talk about how the payouts work. Um, there's a couple different options. They do offer Bitcoin Lightning Network. And I wanna ask you guys, uh, does Tanjum support the Bitcoin Lightning Network? Because from what I've seen, it does not. And I'm curious what kind of main places do support the Bitcoin Lightning Network? Because that would be by far the lowest fee option to get your Bitcoin paid out. Otherwise, you're going to be doing the standard Bitcoin payout, which is gonna have about a $5 fee 
which for these miners that are only making about a dollar a day is like five, five days of mining. So uh, if there's not a better way to pay this out, then I'm going to let these sit in here for two months before I go ahead and make a pullout because otherwise my fees are taking up too high of a percentage of what I'm actually mining. Now, if you don't want just direct Bitcoin, you can get paid out in USDT. So it looks like the BEP21 is 1.5 or is only a fee of 50 cents. And then the USDTRC20 is a $9 fee, which is a bit unfortunate because that one would be pretty convenient as well. Now you can get Amazon gift cards. I haven't tested any of that. You can get your Cryptex merch if you want. I need to get them to send me some stuff. Um, but that's how to do it guys. So if you're tired of kind of mining these small coins or you already have big enough bags of them, um, then this is what you can do. And just to make this video a little more interesting, let's just take a quick look at my portfolio, how much lithium and Casper I have. I show my portfolio a lot in these videos just to give you guys full transparency of kind of what my account looks like. So everything I've mined so far in the last little over a year, $7,800. And Caspa, I'm holding 4,135 Caspa for $500. And my total profit net loss on that is minus 26% or basically a almost $200 loss. In Alephium, I'm holding 450 Alephium. And that is worth $335. And the all-time profit net loss is down 64% um, or minus 600 bucks which is unfortunate because that basically means that at one point I would have had about a thousand dollars of Alephium. But hopefully Alephium being a somewhat sizable coin at 600 market cap will come back pretty strong once all coin season as a whole uh, picks up pace. The reason I'm down so much on it is because a lot of my Alephium I acquired when Alephium was like $4 um, when we were GPU mining it. So a lot of it I GPU mined and it's just been a slow... Uh, or I guess quick um, downward trend. So hopefully that gets better. If you guys wanna know how I'm earning some extra crypto passive income to kind of offset some of these low mining profits, check out this video where I walk through the AI trading bots I'm using through Pinex. It is a regulated US exchange and I've been making pretty decent money off them, so check it out. <laughs>